On this episode of RC Kicks, we're working on the Unimog CCO2, so stay tuned. Welcome to Icy Kicks. On today's show, well, we're back working on one of my favorites, the CCO2 Unimog. Now, I had great fun building the chassis for this. I'll put a link up here if you haven't seen it already. It is a good chassis by Tamir, so I'll take my hat off to him for sure. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to cut the body out, sand all the edges down, give it a clean, mask it up, paint it up. Then we're going to put the decals on, and then we're taking it for a drive around the garden. Sounds like quite a lot, really. <laughs> okay, we better crack on because tomorrow is rain and the day after is rain and the day after that is rain. Which means I've only got today and it's a beautiful sunny day, so I better get a move on. Otherwise, this video is not coming out for another week. Don't you just love the summer weather in the UK? Right, anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's cut the body out. So that didn't take very long at all, and to be fair, pretty easy. A lot of it's dead straight. There's quite a few holes you have to do for the air intake, for the wing mirrors, and also the side mounts. So I do them first. I don't do them afterwards when I painted it. It's just, it's just easier this way for me. Um, cutting out the body, yeah, pretty straightforward. Lots of straight lines. The front arches are huge, so it's no difficulty getting a pair of scissors in there and then sanding round. So actually cutting out, not so much of a problem. What's next? Well, we've got to wash the body out, put in the window masks, then we've got to clean it. After that, we're going to mask up for the wheel arches. Now I'm going to do something a little bit controversial now. What you're supposed to do is mask off the whole body and then paint the arches and the bumpers black first. But I'm not doing that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mask off the actual um, bumper and the arches and I'm going to leave them. I'm going to paint the whole body first, then I'm going to remove the masking, then I'm going to put the black down. Now normally you wouldn't do this because you're putting black behind a bright colour, makes it dull. But my plan is I will spray it with the colour then I will back it, then after I backed it, then I'll go and spray the black. Why am I doing this way? Well, the amount of masking tape needed to mask this all off versus just masking off this small section around the front, it's easier, it uses less materials, and I find you actually get a better edge if you're masking off the actual arch to the line that you're going to paint black versus doing the inside, because on a wheel arch, you're then masking off right inside instead of the other way around, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I'll show you when I've masked it up, and I'll be right back. Turns out I've cut out a cutout decal. Tammy has already cut them out for you, so there was no need for me to cut it out. <laughs> oh well, never mind, carry on.
Okay, so we got this far. Yes, I am ever so sorry. I kind of jumped forward quite far. So uh, yeah, I was just enjoying myself so much that I just kept putting off doing a piece to camera and I was just so into it. I was like, oh, I just do a little bit more. I do a little bit more, oh, I'll be fine. And then I realized I've kind of gone from, haven't done anything to the body apart from cut it out to this stage. Now it hasn't been <laughs> smooth sailing. The weather has really played a part. We've gone from beautiful, warm, sunny weather in the UK to two days of solid rain. So obviously painting up bodies in rain is not really advisable, but I managed to get it painted. Now, uh, some of the issues that I had, uh, I didn't bother reading the instructions properly. Yeah, I know this section that's black that you see here wasn't actually black originally. I just painted the whole thing, then realized, so I had to cut that back with the good old polycarbonate cleaner and saved save that because leaving it would just look a bit weird. Um, another thing I had, which kind of looking at the weather now is a bit of a joke, when I masked it up, it was so hot and humid on the first day that my masking tape started lifting. So I had uh, loads of issues trying to get the masking tape to stay down. Luckily, the white edging tape seemed to be okay. It was just the Tamiya masking tape. So uh, I had a few issues, but luckily the overspray uh, I could get rid of with the polycarbonate cleaner, so it's fine. Now, obviously I did it the wrong way around. You're supposed to mask up through the black and then do the color. But for me, it was just so much easier to do it this way. Instead of masking up everything, I just masked up that and then just sprayed the black afterwards. But obviously you can't just spray the black straight after the color. So what I did was I sprayed it all silver. Then after it was silver, I then sprayed the whole car black. So the underside is all black as well, which is exactly what you want really. So I'm happy with that. So the, the rule of you should always spray light, uh, darker colors to lighter colors. Not necessarily true. It depends on what you're actually painting. So what have we got left to do? Well, I'm umming and ahhing about tinting the windows with smoke. I probably will because you can look down into the actual truck quite a lot and the windows are quite large. So I think I'm going to smoke the windows and I might put a little bit of smoke on the lights as well, front and rear. Um, putting the sides on is pretty straightforward, but one thing I found worked really well is to actually, where you've got the holes, you're trying to line it up, you stick it as well as then clamp it with the screws, was to use a thin Allen key to, to line up the holes on all the parts, stick it on and then put the screw in. But uh, that worked quite well. It's a little bit more fiddly than you think to get the actual screws to bite properly. But once it's done, it actually looks quite nice. And you can see the black line works really well all the way down, which is why I couldn't leave that as a color. So next, oh, also I fitted a servo now. The car is all finished. I had a spare servo left over from when I did the uh, Super Clod um, servo upgrade. So I took one of the Clod servos and put it into this, which will be perfect. So next, right, we've got to smoke the windows, cut all the decals out and fit that. So let's keep going. And I promise I won't just skip straight to the end. <laughs> Sorry about that. Got to be carried away. It's a cool little truck and very different. I don't have anything like this in the collection from a look point of view. And Rebecca thinks it's really pretty too. Right, let's carry on.
So after many, many hours and days, it seems like I've been working on this for like three days straight and it doesn't even look like it's got that many stickers on it. But I thought I'd push the kit forward a little bit more and I've done a lot of um, black edging and door around the doors and things like that. And obviously I haven't used any stickers um, that's all painted. And there's lots of little bits and pieces. The windows take a bit of time as well. And uh, yeah, I've added a few extra stickers that aren't standard versus the box art just to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, <sighs> did take a while, I must admit. But it looks really good. Rebecca's a big fan of this one. She really likes it. So all we've got left to do now is take it for a little tiny run. I don't think we'll be jumping it or anything like that, but I'll take it for a bit of a plod around the garden and then we'll be right back. So that's another one to tick off the list. The only thing I probably would like to do, there's a couple of things I might do on this one, is one, I wanna put a proper truck bed in with some little bits and pieces. I might do that as a modification. And two, I think I may smoke the windows just because it's a bit greenhouse-like and you can see all the wiring and things like that. So I'll probably tint the windows, but I'm thinking about doing a scratch-built sort of 
some barrels and some boxes and things like that and then uh, cut them in half so they stick up just a little bit so it looks like they're sunk into the bed so maybe i'll do that on a future video anyway thanks very much please like and subscribe and head over to rc kicks uh, facebook group as there's 4,500 or people talking about all things rc see you soon thanks for watching